The key events are our training activities, exchange programs, our courses for young scientists, our schools for young scientists. We have established a fancy number of programs for students where they can go to schools. These are concrete actions. They go together from very different countries. They work for one week, two weeks, three weeks together. And this requires an enormous amount of energy to organize for the people who do the nitty gritty uh, of the organization. I said the one thing I really want to, uh, to achieve during my presidency is to start something for the next generation, a sort of a, a network for excellent young people to involve them in fans because the young are the future, <laughs> and so you want to aim at the future. To really uh, tie to us these very gifted young people and to make them enthusiastic for the European Forum of, of Neuroscience so that they bring the junior scientists from their labs to the, to the meetings and to get them involved in the activities, uh, schools, training programs, lectures, etc. We wanted to find a sponsor for this and one of the organizations that was really interested in it was the Kavli Foundation. Make it a place where they recognize themselves, they see as part of their training and, and career, they have an organization for the enthusiasm of young people. In the end, after two years, we achieved to do that. We, we started the so-called Fence Kavli Network of Excellence, which was really this idea. You go to a Fence Forum, it's just overwhelming how many young neuroscientists there are. The first batch of people, and meanwhile we have now a second batch of people, they all are excellent, they have great, I mean their science is great, they have very prestigious grants like ERC grants, and at the same time they are interested in interdisciplinarity or they are involved already in, in uh, politics in Brussels. And it's very important to have that voice of this mid-career level to also raise the attention of the politicians. Usually they are of the same age. And when these young people relate and, and tell and share their concern about their future, their career, the future of science in general, it's, it resonates much more than when we all people say that. So uh, it worked out really well. I had for several decades felt that Europe should have high-level courses in neuroscience that would provide cutting-edge training. In the US you had absolutely outstanding courses and Europe did not have anything like that. So I thought then that this was a chance to try to, uh, to initiate that. And they were then named after Cajal, who was of prime importance in neuroscience. He received the Nobel Prize in 1906 and he is often described as the first complete neuroscientist. Establishing the Cajal program as an entity uh, that grew out of the past training partnership we had with Ebro was a major effort that I think has changed fence.